Okay guys, uh, decided to do some Minecraft tutorial videos, uh, and one of the things on the server I am, I am on is fast ME setup, uh, easiest way to do it I found, and uh, I'll make sure, I'll show you all the recipes and everything you need to make. Okay, so this is what we're going to be starting with. Just basic ME. We're going to make uh, ME drives, ME. Oh, well, let's just start with the basic ME stuff. So, first, you're going to need to make your inscriber. Uh, we have AE2 stuff installed. If you can make that inscriber, go make it. It is a lot better. Uh, this is your basic inscriber. Make it with flux crystals. Uh, Charge nether quartz. Uh, you combine that stuff. Charge certain quartz and nether quartz and redstone. You combine the charge stuff up, so it takes a little bit. But once you get the charge, you can make your own charger. So what we're gonna do is most of the time you won't have uh, ME glass, ME get glass cables to power an inscriber. So what you need is just regular power cables. I use basics, or I use universal cables. They work for everything. Power that there, and we got power. Yeah. Next up, picking what you are going to auto craft. Semi auto craft. You don't have to put stuff in. Let's go with that. So we'll start with our silicone press. Should take everything else out of here first. And best way to do it is drop a hopper right in the front. Oh, I left the silicone in there. So it's just gonna start making that all by itself for you. Uh, regular inscriber can only stack one at a time in here, so this does make it a lot easier. You don't have to babysit it. This can stack a full stack of anything it, it crafts. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go through, uh, make however many you want of each. I'll swap this out and do a logic one now. I'll drop some gold in. And it's just going to keep doing it for each one. Get out of here. You too. So, that didn't go down. so there we got that going. Also, I'll do some cheap thumb uh, videos probably sometime. Uh, easy ways to get to bypass the need for all the aspects. You'll still need to collect them, but there's an easy way to do it up to a certain point. Uh, also, an easy, super easy way to collect nodes. Uh, that's kind of what's in this bag. In that bag is a bunch of thumb stuff. So we got that. gonna make everything damn it. Okay now the only downside to this is is uh, when you get to when you get to this part of actually crafting the processors, I haven't found an actual way to force to make these all drop in correctly. Uh, no idea why. I get sil I get silicone to drop in in the center, but you need redstone. Uh, let's see if the redstone will actually drop this time. Okay, we'll drop this over here. Yeah, it, I can't get it to pump in from the sides. So my one solution was I swore I could get it to come in from the you can get it to come in from the top. You can't put a hopper in the bottom. You one you're using it for power. Uh, and if I remember right, 
Okay, I've had an ME set up for a long time. On the server. I don't think it goes this way either. No. So you'll have to hand do this part, but you can at least auto feed silicone and redstone in that way to make your to make an ME. After you get after you get all that set up, what you're trapped on cables. Once you get that, you'll get your uh, processors. You'll get your processors. You got your three types: calculation, engineering, logic. Main, mainly you'll need logic for a basic ME, but you also need uh, you also need calculation to set up an ME drive bay, which by far is a lot better than going to do uh, the ME chests. Yeah, let's go down here to my base. So ME drive. We'll make an ME drive. To start out, 1K drives are the best. Uh, so, four Certus uh, quartz of any kind, charge, pure, regular. Redstone surrounded by one logic processor. And you take that. Okay, I have some made, but I will go craft one. So, mix. To make a ME drive 1K, uh, you take quartz glass, redstone, iron ingots. For quartz glass, you need five quartz dust of any kind and four pieces of glass. It'll make four. And then you got, hey, look, 1K ME drive. Uh, let's go back up. By the way, staff of traveling, perfect for anybody. Allows you to teleport, teleport through walls. Uh, so, anarchy servers have one with you because you can get anywhere with them. So now that we have an ME drive, now you're going to need a uh, crafting terminal or a regular terminal, whichever you choose. Uh, let's start with just a regular terminal. Yeah. So you need a brightly illuminated panel. Quartz glass, two glowstone with one redstone in the middle and a piece of iron. Then you need to make formation cores. Uh, so you probably need to make an okay basic ME. You'll need, let's go with eight logic processors, two engineering processors, and then you'll need to make excess flux crystals so you can just pulverize it into dust. And then you'll need to make uh, you need to grab some nether quartz for to make the annihilation cores. Make this turns it into an ME terminal, and then to make a crafting terminal, you're going to need a calculation processor and a crafting table. So for this, you need printed uh, calculation circuit, which takes a pure surface quartz crystal. So you take uh, surface quartz dust, sand, drop them into a puddle. It'll take ooh, 50 minutes of you just sitting there, give or take. Ha chunk has to be loaded for it to work. Uh, and then you can make yourself a little crafting terminal. And then we, then you'll need some cables to use the crafting terminal. Be helpful if I could type. So quartz fiber. Three nether quartz or surface quartz dust just in a row, you can mix and match. Glass can be any color, any type of regular Minecraft glass. And then just two flux crystals, it uh, doesn't matter if they're pure or regular flux crystals, and it will give you four, uh, four of the flux cables every time. And then you'll just take one, plop it right on top. No, I forgot to do that. You need an energy acceptor. Yeah, you need an energy acceptor. And did I already have one crafted again? Ha, uh, I think an energy 
energy cell works too. No, an energy cell does not work anymore. Uh, they used to, but now you have to make. If you make this little thing, uh, energy acceptor. And you put a travel anchor up here. So what you need is you need to put one of these here. Uh, it'll connect to almost, uh, it'll connect to every cable and just allow this power to transfer into here and be turned into ME power which you can then power one of these things with so see and then you got that and then you got a working ME system you can put stuff in now you're gonna have a bunch of chests and you're not gonna have enough storage so my personal favorite way to do this is you won't take up any drive space. You just need. You can only use uh, eight at a time. Eight, eight at a time until you can make uh, some of these ME controllers. But they are called. Let me get over to one. They are called wrong ones. Storage buses. So I have a storage bus hooked up to this deep storage unit, holding all the cable I have in my entire ME system. See, so yeah, I have 3.2 million cable. Three or 4.6 million stone and that's in there's a deep storage unit back there yeah so what you do is you use that and then you can just plop them right onto the chests and your entire the entire chest inventory will appear in your ME system uh, I got stuff in deep storage units in here uh, the sand is all in a resonant cache I gotta move some of this stuff over so I can free up ME space for actual crafted things that need to go in there And that is the best way to set up a basic ME and you don't really need to do the drives uh, you'll need to just set this up oh, here let's do just so I know I'm not lying to you storage bus I always have extra of those We will drop us. We'll drop some stuff in this chest. Well, let's do all the ME stuff we just made. We just used. And then all you have to do is storage bus. It'll come online. And hey, look, everything's there. Downside of just having this setup, uh, the these ME glass cables right here can only support eight devices and that is this entire thing right here so right now it has we have three but the best way to get by that is when you go and make an ME controller each side of an ME controller supports 32 channels and you can get smart cables like this that'll lay out how many channels the cable is using dense cables max it out and they can support up to 32 so you can do dense cables to smart cables like I have. This is supporting. This is my autograph system right here, right back here. So it's all connected. And there are ways to turn off the channels so you can make it unlimited per cable, but that just kind of takes the fun out of A. This this mod does require some strategy and setup and strategy and managing everything, which makes it a little bit more fun. But that is how you that's how you start and set up a basic ME system. Uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, suggestions on other videos to do for this mod pack. Uh, here I'll show you. I am playing on the Ultimate uh, mod pack server. I use Tech Echo as a launcher. It takes a minute. Uh, here it is. 
the ultimate eight arc architects I use that as the server they uh, it's preset in we just got a bunch of other stuff set up and that's it uh, crap. that is how do you set up a basic ME system uh, you all have a great idea leave suggestions uh, comments everything down below